Okay, make sure your water's all balanced. And we're going to put this stuff in for biofilm. So make sure it's, you balance your water first. Uh, if you have to add chlorine, add chlorine. Whatever you have to add, just add it. So I'll link this stuff on the bottom. This is the most potent stuff. Works very, very well. I'll link it on the bottom. So all you need is a little bit for a normal size hot tub. So I usually just do one little finger full. And then you turn jets on with the aerators on, the bubbles, for about 30 minutes. So let's run it for 30 minutes. So next we're going to drain it with a quick drain. I'll link this down below. So use a quick drain to drain it. And at that same time we're going to hose it down. So just go around and clean it. Use this cleaner. I'll uh, link this down below also. So just go around and clean it while it's draining. and vacuum everything all out, all the water. And if you have to spray it down again, spray it down again and vacuum it back up. Fill your hot tub back up. So after you've cleaned it, fill it up, put it through where the filter is. You see it's coming out there and the far jet. It should come out the bottom suctions. So this is to prevent your airlock. And once it's full, we'll balance it out. So now we're just going to balance the water after we've uh, cleaned it all out. So the stuff we used at the beginning to clean it all out, I'll, I'll, I'll link this down below. But for weekly maintenance, you want to use something that's a little bit cheaper, and I'll also link it down below. So the most ex this expensive stuff, just use it um, every, every time you drain it. Just put a little bit in. But for weekly maintenance, we use this stuff. Just helps it from cleaning a little bit. 
So all the instructions are right on it. And you just turn it on. So we're going to test uh, the water and then I'll show you what to put in when you fir first uh, fill your hot tub. And do pH. And I'll link this kit down below and you just follow along and it's very easy to, to do. We got pH is high. Because right away there's nothing in it. So we got pH is high. I'll check out salinity. On this one, so it's about 170, should be 100, 120. So we got to bring down the alkalinity and the pH. We'll check chlorine. So I did put a little bit of chlorine in it when I first filled it, just because I like to. Uh, I like to test it after it gets warmed up and then put the chemicals in because it dissolves, dissolves faster and I've had different uh, readings when it's cold to when it's hot. Here we have about one, so which is good. So when you first start your hot tub up, just put a little bit of shock in. It doesn't matter what you're using, bromine shock. Uh, this is stuff I use. Now, you have to get used to your chemicals. You have to read what your chemicals are telling you to do for the, your, your hot tub. Yours might be bigger, might be smaller. Just go by the instructions on here how much put in. But what, normally what I do is, I put, oh, I can't get that open. I usually use the caps as a measuring cups. So when you first put fresh water in, I just put a cap full in. And then every time you use he heavy use, Every time you go to use it, just throw a little cap in. Keeps that sanitation in there. And then we have to bring down the, we're gonna bring down the pH. So I'm gonna 